My name is Mary Stevens, and I went to Rutgers Law School, which I chose because it's a liberal law school. And I went, I started in 1973 and graduated in January of 1977. In the Rhode Island Now chapter, there was a woman named Valerie. And I got out of the meeting one night and I suddenly realized I was in love with Valerie. And that came as a total shock to me. I, I had, I just had no conception of anything like this. Um, but Valerie was in a committed relationship, so there was no hope there. But um, later when I, later that year, this is now 1972, when I went down to Miami to the Democratic National Convention, and I was out by then as a lesbian, um, and I was seduced by a very hot a fellow attendee. And um, so that's basically how I came out. It was at the Democratic National Convention. I applied to Rutgers because it was a liberal school. And um, so I started in 1973. And um, that year was the second year that the women's rights law reporter was uh, located in the law school. And Ruth Bader Ginsburg had been the advisor the previous year. She trained everybody. I got very, very good training as an editor. I went to a few gay bars and met people. And one of them put me in touch with the National Gay Task Force, which was when I was with them for six years. There were no lawyers that were willing to help out with the National Gay Task Force. So they took me on as a legal advisor. I had a book called Our Right to Love. It was edited by Jenny Vida. And she asked me to put in a couple of articles for them. I put in one and then one came from a conference I organized later. I'll tell you about that later on. But that was on lesbian mothers. I was on the board of directors for the Gay Rights National Lobby, and they were very interested in the military situation. And one of the things that I came up with was, um, I think later evolved into the don't ask, don't tell thing. I got the idea that it should be not permitted for anybody in the military to ask whether someone was gay. And if they came by the knowledge in some other way, it was not permitted for them to share that information. So that was, that was to be some protections for gays in the military. There were annual conferences on women in the law, which had started, been in process for several years. I went to the one in Philadelphia, the seventh national conference, and they were making plans for the eighth. And um, I contacted the, the group in Madison. They, oh, I should say these law conferences were held at law schools all over the country. And they, they'd be different city each time. So Madison, Wisconsin was the one that won that bid for the eighth national conference. So I contacted them and I said, gee, you know, what, you should have is a full day on lesbian law. And they agreed. So that became what I think is the first full day national conference on gay law. It's time to be very vigilant and very active and um, in securing 
these rights and expanding the rights that we already do have. It's not a time to sit by idly. It's a time to be politically active. Mm -hmm.